Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose a1 through an is a list of positive real numbers. Then, the arithmetic mean of this list is greater than or equal to the geometric mean of this list. Now, in proving this theorem, we are going to use the following fact. For all real numbers x, 1 plus x is less than or equal to e to the power of x. Okay, so let's get into proving this theorem. Start out, let's give ourselves a list of positive real numbers a1 through an. The whole goal is to prove that this inequality is true. Now, let's denote the arithmetic mean of this list by capital A. And now, let's consider an arbitrary integer k that lies between 1 and n. Well, since this statement works for every real number, then in particular, it must work for the real number a sub k over capital A minus 1. So we're going to take x to be a sub k over capital A minus 1. Well then, that means we have that 1 plus a sub k over capital A minus 1 is less than or equal to e to the power of a sub k over capital A minus 1. So a sub k over capital A is less than or equal to e to the power of a sub k over capital A minus 1. So for all integers k between 1 and n, this inequality is true, which means all of these inequalities are true. And we know that all of these guys are greater than zero. Therefore, we should have that the product of all of these guys is less than or equal to the product of all of these guys. Now, on the left-hand side of this inequality, if we multiply all the numerators together, we get a1 times a2 times dot of dot times an. And if we multiply all the denominators, we're really multiplying capital A n times. So we get capital A to the power of n. And now, looking at the right-hand side of this inequality, if you recall, one of the properties of the exponential function is that if we multiply all these together, the exponents will add. So really, we have that this is equal to e to the power of a1 over capital A minus 1 plus a2 over capital A minus 1 plus dot 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 plus a n over capital A minus 1. Now notice, we're doing a1 over capital A plus a2 over capital A plus dot 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 plus a n over capital A. Adding all those together will give us a1 plus a2 plus dot 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 plus a n all over capital A. And also, we are subtracting 1 n times, which means we're subtracting n. Okay, and then it turns out we can simplify this fraction. Because if we go to this equation and we multiply n to the other side, we see that n times capital A is equal to a1 plus a2 plus dot 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 plus a n. Therefore, the numerator is equal to n times capital A. Well, the capital A's cancel out, so we're left with n minus n. n minus n is equal to 0, and e to the power 0 is equal to 1. So we have shown that a1 times a2 times dot 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 times a n over capital A to the power of n is less than or equal to 1. Now, since capital A to the power of n is positive, if we multiply that to the other side, we get capital A to the power of n is greater than a1 times a2 times dot 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 times a n. And then, since both these guys are positive, if we take the nth root of both sides, the sign of the inequality will remain the same. But really, capital A is equal to this.
And that is exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.